guys and welcome to the show where I report on the latest in gaming news and if you do end up enjoying today's video please remember to smack that like button real good and uh, yeah now let's get into the first news report on today's show and it's that a leak has possibly confirmed that Fallout 5 is already in development and the pre-production for the game has already begun. This is some pretty massive news right here. It's pretty insane to even think about Fallout 5 since Fallout 4 just recently came out and I bet most of us haven't even finished it or if you have you're probably still doing a bunch of side quests and a lot of other stuff in the game but the thing is it looks like Fallout 5's production has already begun which is just insane. However if you do really think about it if you remember back when Fallout 3 came out Fallout 4 was already in production straight after they finished Fallout 3. That's exactly what Todd Howard said when they finished Fallout 3 they went straight to Fallout 4 and I'm guessing they're doing the same thing after Fallout 4 and going straight to Fallout 5. Now where is this news coming from? Well here we go. It was actually a bit of a mess up. It wasn't meant to happen. It happened over Instagram with one of the voice actors in Fallout 4. The voice actor is known as Ryan Alosio and he is the voice of Deacon in Fallout 4. He was replying to some comments in a post that he put up on Instagram and he accidentally revealed this as you guys can see. He's basically excited about working on Fallout 5 and where they're taking it and everything. This is pretty massive right here because the thing is as soon as this comment went up he realized oh wait a second I'm not meant to do this so he deleted that comment. And on top of that he replaced the comment with a different one which is very similar but doesn't mention Fallout 5. Let me know what you guys think about this because this guy is the official actor of Deacon in Fallout 4. He did put this on Instagram and it is one of those things where you're like, oh, uh, did he just mess up? Is he accidentally saying this? What's happening here? Seriously, guys, just let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I personally think the game is already in development. They're probably just working on to the next one. That's what they are doing, probably. But the thing is, we don't know when the game will be out. We don't know anything about it at this time and, uh, yeah, we don't even know if it actually exists, if this is just a real mess up. But anyway, now let's move on to the next gaming news report on today's show and it's that the guys over at Game Informer have received an exclusive revealing the new cast of Gears of War 4. Basically it allows us to meet and understand who these characters are. It's definitely worth checking out and it's very interesting. The primary protagonist in Gears of War 4 will be JD Phoenix and he is actually the son of the legendary war hero, the guy we all love, Marcus Phoenix. And there's a whole bunch more stuff in there talking about his character and everything like that. It's definitely worth checking out. And on top of that, we also get some more characters in there. But yeah, it's definitely worth checking out this read. It's down below in the description for you guys to check out. But now let's get on to our final gaming news report on today's show. And it's that a leak from Sony has come out showing off the revamped PS4 PlayStation Store with brand new features. And it reverts back to the old one now because they accidentally leaked it, which was a stupid move. I'm guessing this will be coming out soon, but we're not sure exactly when this will be coming out. But Sony kind of jumped the gun and accidentally set it up like that. You guys can see screenshots here. If you want to check all the screenshots, they are linked in the description down below and it actually looks pretty cool. Personally, I prefer this brand new look over the current look of the PlayStation Store. There are a lot of similarities, but then there are quite a few differences in there. What do you guys think if you guys have seen the full images? What do you think compared to the old one? Well, I guess the current one, but compared to this one. And there we have it. That is the gaming news for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Now, Gorilla Man, please hand me that question. Thanks for that. Okay, guys, the question is, who do you think is the most badass video game character of all time and why? So put your answers in the comment section down below and you can end up in the next video. But if you enjoyed today's video, please do to smack that like button because I am Chant Chong. My axe is really here.